It's Fifty Shades of Hulk Smash! I got a fever, and, and, and the only cure is more lens flare. Oh, man. Thankfully, CW renews some of our favorites for this coming year. Kurt is here to show his superiority in trivia. We've got a geek moment, and that's all coming up on today's Chunk of Slice. Covering all the news from every dark corner of the universe. SliceofSciFi.com Greetings, fellow geeks. <laughs> it's time again for another slice. I'm Tim Adam. Joining us today is Mike, <laughs> Brian, and, and everything's of course, going to hell. Megan. <laughs> uh, wow, are, that didn't work well. We're we're a did fine-tuned <laughs> machine. That's folks. it. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and on that note, let's read some news. And now the news. You moved my cheese. You know what, Mike? If we could fire you, we would fire you. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, that was that was a really horrible oh, open. But that sorry about that, folks. That's okay. It's a good, glorious train wreck. Oh, man. Um, so let's boff right into some news because Truly. because here this is really kind of sad news. Uh, last week, BBC announced the upcoming season of the original Being Human is the last. No, yep, yeah. that's it. They're they're basically five seasons. And out. Wow. Now, that's sad. Well, the interesting thing yeah. is, you know, the creator, Toby uh, Toby Whitehouse, said, you know, it's been, you know, uh, fans will be disappointed. Yes, we understand that. But he says he has to remember that the remit of BBC Three is to encourage and support new, new talent show, right? and yeah. formats. In that sense, being human is perhaps a victim of its own success. Mm-hmm. Um, he says he can't really call us a new show anymore because, well, we're not. We've been around. We're a bitter old war horse. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And he said, you know, it's re- really the duty is for us to move on and make the way. And okay. I wonder if it wasn't really because they have just kind of run out of story. Well, I think- because that last season was a little <sighs> of it was it was really tough. Yeah. I mean, there were great moments and then there were like. Really? We decided to go there? Really? <laughs> well, so, I mean, I, I, I guess, I, I, am I the um, only one that's still no, watching? No, no, I okay. watch it too. I, I think the, really the kiss of death was when the original coast, when the original stars are all Yeah, right. I was going to say, I mean, you know? haven't, haven't they pretty much replaced everybody at this yes, point? Yes, at this point they, they have. Much, yeah. Even, yes. even um, the ghost, whose yes. name yes, I can't yes, remember? Yes, yes, yes. Amy. No, that's not right. April? Oh, good grief. I know, anyways, but yeah, no, they replaced her as well. Can't Everybody's wow. gone. It's all new cast. Now it's great because they can still play in that universe, mm-hmm. but I just don't think the stories are that good. Mm-hmm. Honestly, they were very uneven like Mike said. So, mm-hmm. meh. Here's some good news though. CW has on Monday announced that they picked up three of the, the show series. Oh yeah. Supernatural, Vampire Diaries, and my favorite, Arrow. Yeah, yeah so, nice. Uh, so they picked them all up um, and uh, CW rated Arrow as the best series premiere since 2009. Wow. wow. That's so, awesome. So Arrow was big thing. And also Vampire Diaries is the highest rated uh, show in the tar- Target demos. Really? Hmm. So Supernatural is up 15%. Those are oh, three good. shows that are all back to back like that. Oh, that I wish Sam was here because she's uh, she's know, still she's, watching it. Uh, she passed the, the new story that story along to me. <laughs> so yes. because her and I have been watching the the waiting to see, and we watch pretty much. I watch Supernatural and Arrow. I don't I'm not a big Vampire Diaries fan, but she is. I know. Mm-hmm. So, so pretty much what you're telling me is I have to quit bagging on the CW. Yeah, because this is really probably <laughs> the finest block of shows they really have. Wow, wow, and it's, just, they're all really good. I mean, it, it just from the sound of it, it actually sounds like they've got a pretty darn good lineup. They do. And actually, Supernatural is really good this season because I thought they'd kind of run out of steam. But no, it's still really a tight story and really good going places. Yeah, okay. So I know wow. I know, I said I said the same thing. So um, then let's see. Bit, 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 bit. Yeah. Let's uh, talk about this after the break, I'm thinking. Okay. Because, because we got some bigger stories coming up after the break. We're going to talk about Star Wars. Ooh. Uh. And talk about J.J. Abrams, who runs Hollywood now, it seems like. Yeah, he <laughs> so, kind of owns this place. And we'll uh. talk about another passing, too. Okay. Hey, Slicers, it's Brian from Slice of Sci-Fi TV, and I have the coolest new application to show you. It's the Slice of Sci-Fi app. Here's how it works. By selecting the Slice of Sci-Fi application, it brings you to the home page where 
you can select an episode, ask a frequently asked question, go to the Slice of Sci-Fi website, the Slice of Sci-Fi TV website, and the Slice of Sci-Fi XM Sirius Satellite site, so you can read, watch, and listen to any of the episodes. Start off by selecting an episode. Now, once you've done that, you can leave video feedback. Hey Slicers, I really loved the last episode. Audio feedback. Hey Slicers, I'm leaving you some feedback for the radio show. Or send us an email. So download the app and share your thoughts because we want to hear from you. Your news team is next. So if anybody thought that Disney was just going to, you know, make a trilogy and kind of that was it. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, no. <laughs> totally, right? <laughs> yeah. Funny. Right. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be basically milking the hell out of the of Star Wars universe. They, they of course are. they are. Yes. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what Disney does best. <laughs> I just know. Take, take something and beat it to death. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. We're going to be beaten over the head with more Star Wars, which won't necessarily be a bad thing. Mm, possibly. Yes, it will. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> this is Disney yeah. in Disney's hands. So so the, currently what they're saying is uh, they're going to do spinoffs. And so we have one for Yoda. Han Solo and Boba Fett. What? Yes. What? Each going to star in their own film. I, 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 you know. I, I, now, no. Okay. Well, maybe they have, they have material already inside right. the Star Wars universe for both Boba Fett and Han Solo. To, well, and they've been talking about Boba Fett for years oh, yeah. now. That That's they're going to do something with just him and make the story interesting. So we'll see. And uh, of course, you know, Zack Snyder is supposedly excited about directing one of these. Okay. Well, so yeah, maybe. Okay. Well, we'll see. And of course, Han Solo and Yoda will be much younger versions of them. Uh, of course. course. One's a, one's oh, hot young seed. Yoda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> Megan, that says so much about you. <laughs> He's so much wrong about you. He said a nice, you know, svelte to uh, what four fifty maybe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. With his three pack abs, uh-huh. same size. <laughs> He's the same height, though. Right. Same wow. wow. He yeah. wants an ear job. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, so geez. I moving on. Was Ferengi. Well, of wow. course he is. Why not? He's part Ferengi. Talk like he does. Mm. <laughs> so you know. Um, so, anyways, there you go, Megan. Your the hot force date. is high on acquisition. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, talk about crossing the streams. Wait, JJ at the helm, why not? Why not? Hey. Why not? <laughs> Maybe Just Yoda- reboot all the things. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we'll bring you more news as we get get it. It'll be at sliceofsci-fi.com. Um, and, of course, t- talk about JJ. You know, he really, is he going to be have his finger in every single pie in uh, Hollywood I, now? I think so, yeah. So, uh, the, you know, uh, I guess at DICE 2013 Summit oh, yeah. with Valve co-founder G- Gabe uh-huh. Newell, uh, Abrams revealed that the two of them are in preliminary talks to develop movies based on Half-Life and Portal and both. And Portal, right. Yeah. Wow. That would be okay. pretty cool. Now, um, yeah, as he said, the games are as real as anything that Hollywood ever gets, uh, which is uh, what they're really talking about at Valve. We are going to be bringing on a writer, have a lot of interesting ideas the goal is to treat the world valve has created in both these properties like anyone would a book or some great story that which, comes up which you can do i mean yeah, you're talking oh, the combine and all of that out oh. of, out of oh, half-life that would be just fantastic well and then all, abrams went on to say that you know he wants his his company bad robot to also help develop video games right. mm-hmm. with with newell as well he's just gonna own hollywood so yeah. pretty much yeah and and, and I, I can't wait for the movie where spock and kirk and han solo end up on the island of lost and uh <laughs> <laughs> and they're Fringe events and their are fringe, happening. Yeah, yeah. And the fringe division comes to help them get off Super the eight, island. Super eight monsters. Wow. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's cross all of it. But and, huh. and you know the interesting thing too is Abrams said that he really wants to make a standalone quote unquote real video game, not just a movie tie-in type game. Really? So wow. something original. So. That's pretty good. News he's a brilliant or, guy. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. You have to give him credit for that. He's, he's going to burn himself out, though. That's what I'm I think. He's, I kind of. I feel like he's going to burn himself out, and he's like going to crash and burn, and like just. I don't know. I don't like want, lost. I don't want to hate him. You know what'll happen? <laughs> what? He'll turn into uh, James Cameron with lens flares. <laughs> We're going to dive in the Marionette's Trench with lens flares. Exactly. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Wow. It's the SS lens flare. <laughs> 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 Um, uh, you, uh, this is this I love this Marvel story. This cracks me up, Megan. You, you you're gonna you're gonna cringe. I know you are. You know oh, what I'm talking uh, about, right? Uh-huh, yeah. 
So, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, little popular book right now. <sighs> don't know why, but anyways. Uh, anyways, those similar novels like that are showing no sign of letting up at this point. Of so, course not. So Marvel Comics announced last week that they will jump into the field of romantic literature. Oh, of course they will. I'm, yes. I'm sorry? This is Romeo what they said. And Juliet? Uh, Marvel's partnering with Hyperion to publish two action oh. and adventure romance novels featuring Rogue and She-Hulk. Oh, my. So both Hyperion and Marvel oh. are owned by Disney. Uh, in a press release, the company says... <clears throat> Novels showcase strong, smart heroines seeking happiness and love while battling cosmic evil. Oh, wow! I didn't, okay. I didn't really? even realize that sounded like a personal ad. Yes. And, oh. and, and here's what the title of the first one is going to be called. The She-Hulk Diaries mm-hmm. focuses on Jennifer <laughs> Walters, who's trying to balance like, climbing the corporate ladder during the day. Tim, we have news. <laughs> I, I, this is the best part about it. Trying to balance climbing the corporate ladder during the day and battling supervillains at night. <laughs> All the while trying oh to navigate the dating world to find a Mr. Right who might have his mind on something very, a very big green girlfriend. Oh my God, <laughs> this is going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you have Rogue Touch, <laughs> centers on uh, obviously the popular X Men heroine who can absorb others' heroes' powers, blah, blah, blah. Right, who After can't touch she, anybody. Yeah, exactly. She runs away from home. Of course, she meets the handsome and otherworldly Jame and Smarks Fly, the only man alive who seems to truly understand her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, they're coming oh out God. in June, and this uh, is like Lifetime decided to get into. June. Yeah. So let's 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 bomb your nerves with some really actually good news. Okay, now, please. So uh, our our one of our sister sites, it's Comic Book Day, posted a release that Stanley and his P- Pow Entertainment have done a complete reboot of their websites. Really, the real, the real dot com, and uh, so go check it out and basically see. Look at Stan's new home. It's supposedly really, really cool. Okay, cool. And of course, the entire Mar- Marvel press release is at itscomicbookday.com. So check yes. it out, folks. Yeah, it looks like you're saying it. I am. It's hey, there you go. <laughs> it's so comic it's book comic day. Book day. <laughs> Tim is <laughs> saying it. Yeah, <laughs> Mike is saying it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's saying it. Oh, <laughs> Megan's thinking it. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. And Tim is like. Pondering it. Pondering it. Wow. Yes. Okay. All moving right, right along. Moving there on. Goes, We're having fun with video. Let's move on. <laughs> um, actor Matt Smith uh, has signed on to star in Ryan Gosling's direct ter- directorial debut. He's doing a movie called How to Catch a Monster. Okay. Now, Smith joins Christina Hendricks. Uh, right there. <laughs> and Eva Mendez. Uh, That's twice, not Christina Hendricks. So. Uh, in the film, <laughs> no, which is not. set against the surreal dreamscape of a vanishing city and centered on a single mother of two being... Uh, to being swept into a macabre and dark fantasy underworld. Uh, sounds like a really kind of cool story. Yeah. And the film is going to be a North American debut for Matt Smith. Really? Yeah, it's wow. his first film debut. Oh, so wow. that's okay. kind of the big thing for him. Huh. It's nice to see him branching out from Smith. From yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. I don't know. As long as he continues to do who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't forget, remember, it seems to be a kind of recurring thing with Doctors. About where they three seasons Yeah, or when so. they start getting popular mm-hmm. and other things, it kind of shuts them off. Well, yeah. Well, and they then, don't want to get typecast then, uh, completely. Yeah, then Eccleston goes, "Oi, up yours." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's it. And uh, goes off and does his own thing. So, yeah, and for um, all all you British viewers out there, uh, you can send your comments to Brian. To Brian, that, so. <laughs> so sci-fi. That's fine. Uh, yeah. And uh, one other real bit of news, kind of a downer news, is uh, Stuart Freeborn, who uh, was a pioneering movie makeup artist. I don't know if everybody sees him. Uh, seen his things. I'm sure you have when I mention him. Uh, he died a couple weeks ago in London from a combination of, of course, age-related ailments. Ooh. He was 98. Oh, yeah. well, geez. So, um, he didn't make it to 100? Yeah. Wow. So he he's done, uh, he did two works on two Stanley Kubrick films, Dark, Doctor Strange Love and 2001. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also, you know, uh, responsible for specific Specifically for Peter Sellers' transformation in mm-hmm. that in, in Strange Love, in Strange Love, yeah, and then also fantastic, <laughs> yeah. He did his work. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also brought uh, Yoda, Chewbacca, and Jabba the Hutt in Star Wars mm-hmm. to life. That's so cool. Um, and uh, of course, Uncle George, uh, uh, in his uh, addled uh, flannelness, uh, had lots to say. Lots, lots of good things to say. Now, now mm-hmm. say. he said his artistry and craftsmanship will live on forever in the characters he created. Mm-hmm. His Star Wars creatures may be reinterpreted in new forms by new generations, but at the heart, they continue to be what Stuart created for the original films. Very cool. It's very nice of George saying, "Nice, we're going to still cash in on you." So I, was gonna yeah, say, I think exactly. Lucas was misquoted. I, yeah, I think he exactly. actually said in the characters, "I replaced," and, and he said, oh. and he forgot, "Cha Ching." All right, let's let's do some <laughs> trivia. 
your thinking caps, kids, and play along with the gang. Hey, it's trivia time. Well, hello, Slicers. It's that time of year again. Oh, oh yes. As we're recording, it is Exciting. Valentine's Day. Yes. Oh, that's right. Arizona Statement Day. Yes, it's almost Valentine's Day, and we've got two weeks worth of Valentine's Day trivia. Well, excellent. This week's trivia comes Actually. to us from Christine in Michigan. Here comes the first clip. I cannot believe that you are fool enough to do something like this. Oh, no, I'm twice the fool it takes to do something like this. <laughs> has, um, has Amy oh. tried yes. to reverse the spell? I get around Amy, and all she wants to do is talk honeymoon plans. Yeah, it's him, him and Xander. Yeah. yeah. It's quiet. quiet. Here's a longer sample from the same scene. What is it? It's, it's me. Throwing myself at your mercy. What? Why? I made a mess, Giles. See, yep. I found out that Amy's into witchcraft, Luffy. and mm. I was hurt, I guess, so I made her put the love whammy on Cordy, but it backfired, and now oh. every woman in Sunnydale wants to make me her yeah, cuddle man. monkey, which may sound small cuddle on monkey. paper, cuddle but... Monkey. I remember this episode. Yeah, that good. was good. funny. <laughs> that was Nicholas Brendan and Anthony Stewart Head in an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer from the second season called Bewitched, Bothered, and Bewildered mm, yep. from 1998. Here's the next clip. No, please. What is it? What's the matter? The kissing. Oh, it's Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Do we have to hear the kissing? Oh, yes. Red Someday Savage you may not mind so much. <sighs> oh, awesome movie. Peter Sell. I mean, Peter Falk. Okay, here comes yes, the Peter prequel Sellers. to that Sellers, clip right. you just heard. Death cannot stop true love. Carrie. All it can do is delay it for a while. That's right. I will never doubt again. That will never be a need. That Mark Knopfler music will live on Carrie forever. Oh, so. No, no, please. Robin Wright. Yep. Or she's a pen. Okay, you heard Carrie Elwes, Robin Wright, mm-hmm. Fred Savage, and Peter Falk in The Princess Bride from 1987. Uh, movie. Here's the next clip. You are my new dream. <laughs> and you are mine. Um, Ooh. Um, I didn't hear the first part. Here comes the longer version. Look at me. Look at me. I'm right here. Don't go. Stay with me, Eugene. Flower gleam and glow. Rapunzel. Let your power shine. Hey. Make the uh, clock Starful? reverse. Bring no, no, no. no. Starful, uh, yes. Uh, no, yes. No, sir. Oh. Tangled. Tangled? 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 You are my new dream. Mm. <laughs> hmm. And you are mine. Yeah, I think yeah, it might it's, be tangled. I think it's tangled. Zip. Yeah. Yeah. I think. That was Mandy Moore and yep. Zachary, Zachary Levi, Levi. in yep. Tangled yeah, from so 2010. Get ready. Here comes this week's final Valentine's clips for the day. What I'm saying is a Cupid has gone rogue, and we have to stop him before he kills again. What? Naturally. <laughs> Super nice. Of course we do. It's got a supernatural. It, 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 it's, it is. it's bizarre enough. It has to be. And the prequel be. to that conversation. <laughs> Your people call them Cupid. A what? What human myth has mistaken no. for Cupid oh, is actually a lower order of angel. Lost girl. Is it yeah. Lost girl? Technically, yep. it's a cherub. So it could also Third be class. one of the cherub. Other... Yeah. They're all over the world. There are dozens yeah. of them. You mean yep. the little flying fat kid in diapers? No, no, no. no. Yep. Super it, it, no, 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 no you were, you're right the first time. It's Lost Girl. Sure. Yep, that's Lost Girl. Mm. Okay, that was no, Jared Padalecki, no, was Jensen Ackles, yeah. and oh. Misha Collins yeah. in an episode of Supernatural oh, called yeah. My Bloody, Bloody Valentine. Valentine. Yeah, I remember it now. From the fifth season yep. in 2010. Oh, okay. well, well, that's then. all for our first week of Valentine's Day trivia. We'll be back with part two nice. next week. Awesome. Very, that's very cool. Very cool. All right, we're going to take a quick break and come back with more after this. A refrigerator has never been hacked. An online virus has never attacked a corkboard. Give your customers the added feeling of security a printed statement or receipt provides. With mail, it's good for your business, and even better for your customers. For safe and secure ways to stay connected, visit usps.com mail. Aloha, Slicers. This is Stephanie from Oahu with your Geek Moment of the Week. It is a truth universally acknowledged that every geek must have a guilty secret TV show. 
and don't even try to pretend you don't. As for me, it's the ABC family show called Bunheads. In brief, it's a show about four high school ballet dancers in small town California and their instructor, a former Las Vegas showgirl. Cultures collide and hilarity ensues. Now, since I was a competitive figure skater through most of my school years, I can connect just a little with these girls. Okay, now one of the high school girls has a sharp wit, great comedic timing, and gets all of the lines we think in our heads, yet are too chicken to say out loud. But she actually says them. In a recent episode, her brother has just been dumped by his latest girlfriend, and she finds him lounging on his bed while she's been waiting forever for him to show his face downstairs. Her next line encapsulated exactly why this show is so much fun. I'm sorry, you're going to have to listen to Vampire Doesn't Sparkle Anymore music after you drive me to class. Yes, that's right. Bunheads, just put the smack down on Twilight. From this day forward, I will hold my head up proudly and declare that I watch Bunheads. So take that, Twilight, and come back to see me once you've decided to grow a pair. And that's been your Geek Moment of the Week. <laughs> Megan's, like, freaking Dang. out over here. During I'm that like, whole over thing. here, I forgot the mics weren't on, and I'm like, I love that show! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what was that again? You were like, what? Wow. I was like, I love that show! Uh, okay, yeah, awesome. yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure if I heard that the right awesome. the first time. That's that is, right. That so. is pretty cool. I think we all pretty much have one. Mike has like 50 of them. Yeah, I do. I have. A, I actually <laughs> so. have a lot of them, although um, American Chopper's off the air now. <laughs> so I, I don't have anything to do on Wednesday. You know, Monday. I can't think of any guilty pleasure shows that I watch. Not even reality mm-hmm. TV Not or anything? crap, crap really? shows? No. no. I mean, I'm 100% streaming at this point. Wow. wow. I, I got a lot of them. I mean, Kitchen Nightmares and Hell's Kitchen. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, I'll, those, Hell's yeah. Kitchen, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, that's non-genre. That yeah, you fair enough. Guilty stuff. Right. So yeah, yeah. You know, chopped I, is the worst for oh, me. Chopped, oh, God, chopped the chopped. chopped rabbit hole that happens like every. <laughs> it's like they like do forty episodes just so that they could screw up my entire day. But see, I'm like a total. F- I'm, I'm like a total geek about food anyway. So yeah. I think chopped qualifies. As, as <laughs> right, 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 well, right. okay. There you go. And see, for me, you know, it's like I, I, you know, fell down the wire rabbit hole because because yeah. oh. HBO to go just oh, has all this all five yeah. seasons the wire on it so I'm like oh I can watch it again why not <laughs> it's so awesome that's why and especially since you know damn all the other shows I love have been canned so mm-hmm. you know, no. yeah it kind of sucks but do we got any more news or oh, anything we can blood, do really quick blood blah let's see we got a little bit of this <laughs> a little bit of that uh, okay yeah we got they're talking about well I talk a little bit about Walking Dead but I really don't care. Here's the other thing. We got more news about the the Godzilla reboot. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard about so, this. So here's the interesting thing. So according to Hollywood Reporter, Brian Cranston and Elizabeth Olsen are in talks for lead roles in this film. Really? Yeah. That's what made me go, but... Uh, and, really? Um, and so... Uh, Which they, one's playing oh. Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're going to have a suit. Either one would work. <laughs> well, and also Aaron Johnson has already uh, signed in the reboot as well. Um, Gareth Edwards is directing... They couldn't get is, Matthew Broderick, really? No, yeah. Oh, so, I and actually, it. Frank they, they right. did get the Taco Bell Chihuahua, though. Oh, there we go. Well, dig this. So here's <laughs> one good name on it. Frank Darabont is currently doing a rewrite on the script. Okay. Now, now here's what Cranston will play Johnson's stepfather. So Johnson, Aaron Johnson is the young kid in it. Olsen, his girlfriend. So supposedly March production start on it, and then it's going to be released in... Okay. Next year or sometime. Gonna, so. Another another stab at trying to bring yeah. Godzilla back. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, don't I know. think Pacific Rim is actually the closest yeah. thing for the monster thing that they did really well. So because it wasn't focused on just Godzilla. Thing, I haven't seen so. it. it. Well, I haven't either yet, but I, I'm hearing great things about it. So <laughs> okay. So we do have one other little quick story we can talk about. Okay. Um, Mary Doria Russell's The Sparrow it might be happening now. Is published in 1996 you may not uh know what it is it's basically uh it's uh the sparrow and children of god is the second one okay um it's possibly gonna be a series on amc and basically it's um it's been in development limbo forever and a day and so they're actually thinking about putting it out and actually she says she says i won't be writing scripts i won't have any input in scripts so don't be expected to be consulted in any way scripts casting or star arc she said so looks like she's not going to be involved at all but they're picking it up i'm not so. familiar with it at yeah, all I'm not, so. I'm not either so it's, not children it, of god sounded familiar but i was thinking uh, of something the else. novel the the sparrow one critical and fan acclaim based when it came out so oh, really? so okay. it's been one of those ones you know like uh warm bodies that got a oh, lot of yeah. review, right. good things you know but 
bam, it's been limbo. So okay. I don't know. Well, cool, cool. And that's really kind of the best, the basic ones. Yeah, yeah that's, that's most of the stories that are that's good. That's most of the stories. So. Okay. Well, well I mean, slow news week. Yeah. yeah well, well, it is, and I mean, yes, it is, and. You well, know, I mean, it, it is Valentine's Day and everything, yeah, so fair I enough. mean, we're all kind of out day. of it anyway. <laughs> a Singles Awareness Day, Megan, for some singles, of us? It's singles uh, awareness Anna, day. Anna Howard Shaw Day. Howard Shaw. Is it, isn't Anna that from 30 Howard. Rock? I have some, no some idea. What is 30 Rock? Yeah. 30 Rock, yes. 30 rock. The 30 Rock show. Don't yeah. remember 30 Rock? No, no. Actually, oh, Community. Really? Yeah. Community. Wow. What is this Community? No, it's a good mm. show, dude. Oh, you know, that's going to do it for this Episode oh, I can't see of me anymore. Slice and everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks everyone for tuning in. You know the numbers 206 339. Trek this 206 339 8735. Follow us on the Twitters, follow us on the Facebooks, and definitely go to slice.tv. Slice of sci fi.tv, folks. Yes, absolutely. You can find all the video and uh, see us do what we do. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.